loving female-led relationships, relationships that empower women. Hi, my name is Milena and I am a female empowerment and relationship coach. I live in Vancouver currently and I'm originally from Bulgaria and I happen to be in a female-led relationship where I am my man's priority. We met in Bali. Uh, we were both at a training to learn how to massage and take care of our partners and we fell in love there. And then I moved to Canada with him. I first met Milena in Bali. It was actually over a dinner table. There were a group of us sitting down, first night of a retreat by the ocean. And I looked across the table and there was a woman who, again, just, I, I literally looked into her left eye and I knew, I knew this was a woman I was going to spend the rest of my life with. How I realized that he is different is because he's both powerful, he's very accomplished, and he was extremely caring since the first moment we met. So I could feel his heart in the way he communicated with me, in the way he helped me energetically and physically, and also in the way he took care of me by not just paying the bills, which is kind of average for when a guy is dating a woman, but just caring about how I feel and what I think and how I view the world. I was very, very young and I noticed that my father was looking down on my mother. He was very accomplished. She was also a very smart woman. She had a career, but I perceived her as being secondary. And the way my father was treating her, I did not like. So actually I made a commitment inside myself to never allow that to happen to me. So in a sense, in my first marriage, I actually was a little bit more of a dominant and taking a little bit more the space. And I didn't enjoy that. I actually also wanted to be with an equal and powerful man. So in that sense, my first marriage was a little bit more imbalanced where I was strictly the alpha woman and my my man i would not say was equal to me and in this case we're equal and it's it's just a joy the relationship from my point of view required a lot of patience melena i think was quite scarred from her first marriage she really wasn't quite sure what she was looking for as she moved forward in life both in relationship and career and where she wanted to live. So my sense was if I rushed her, that would have been the end of any opportunity to see if the relationship was going to develop further. I, I was so career driven when I was with my first husband. In a sense, I was my father. I had stepped into my masculine so far because I also needed to learn it. So the improvement for me is actually stepping back and, and actually sitting both empowered and peaceful and, and being myself within my inner feminine. Because the world demands from us so much masculinity to accomplish things. The business world is designed, the corporate world is designed by men. And we as women stepped into it. So for me to accomplish on the outside, I needed to use those skills. And my first husband was supportive, but I actually felt out of balance just being an alpha woman in the traditional sense. And I want to be somebody coming back home. I don't want to be. That, in a sense, dictates the way the, the energy is, the environment is. I want things to be around both of us being equal. So for me, actually, female-led means I'm stating my boundaries. I'm stating what I need from moment to moment because it changes based on my hormones. It changes based on my mood. It changes based on the moon. And that he's receptive enough to actually honor that. And I'm also receptive enough to honor myself first and foremost. So this is what for me is female-led relationship. Every day, Melena is a different person depending on the hormones, uh, how much sleep she got, uh, issues with, uh, you know, perhaps her mother, uh, health, those kind of things. So I check in a lot. So by checking in, she feels heard. What she tells me is that she feels heard, appreciated, and supported. Uh, the second thing I do is make sure that I actually provide feedback as much as I can from my heart, not my head. 
I very much know the difference if something is coming from my brain, my ego, my head, or from my heart. So at a heart level, when I respond uh, without any um, negative or even positive energy, for that matter, associated with it, she feels that. So she knows that the love and support is there and it allows her just to continue to focus on what is bringing her joy in the moment. How blessed I am to actually have somebody that can both feel me, that can be both masculine and, and can play with his femininity. And by knowing his own femininity, he can actually understand me very well. An empowered woman who has that capability, who's given that space, that time, the love, the support, the benefits to the man are, are indescribable. You, know, you just simply have to experience it once and you can't go back to an old paradigm of wanting to be the person who says where we're going, what make the rules. Being a part of watching her grow and coming into the purpose that she's starting to better understand for herself, uh, why she's in this life, uh, all the skills she's developed at this point in time and how she wants to be of service going forward is, is a joy and I feel incredible gratitude for being part of that journey. Loving female-led relationships, relationships that empower women.